I put a convenient wheelchair here. Guo Tingchen, I really don't understand you. You're really putting a lot of effort. Oh, my sweetie, why are you up by yourself? Mom, what are you doing here? I just want to get some air. It's raining heavily. Don't go out. Be careful not to catch a cold again. Sit down first. After your legs get better, let's get some air outside. Ting Chen said that you've got a bad stomach. I bring Aunt Wang back this time for you. I hope you don't hate Mom. How could it be? I couldn't be happier. Really? Well... I will stay a few more days with you. Didn't you promise to take good care of yourself? I, I... I've been having stomach problems lately, and I can't eat anything. Oh, sweetie, you have suffered a lot. Take good care of yourself. Don't worry, just leave everything to mom. Thank you, mom. My sweetie, why are you sitting here? Aren't you cold? We are more closes. It's okay. Are your legs feeling better? Much better. I let Aunt Wang make a soup. I will see if it's done. I will bring it up for you. I will go down to have it. It's not that serious. No, your legs aren't recovered yet. Listen to me. Just wait. Okay. Ting Chen? I think I likes kids. But the fact is she bought abortion pills. Could there be some kind of misunderstanding? Probably. She just doesn't like our baby. Ting Chen, look at me. Answer my question carefully. I will ask you again. Who do you really like? An An or Su Xiaoyuan? I don't know. Would you listen to what you're saying? Yes, it's been three years. You said you liked An An, so you married her. After you got married, you had an affair with Su Xiaoyue. You think, I haven't seen the problem in your marriage this time? I don't care what you thought. I just hope this slap will make you think about it. If you don't love her, just get a divorce. When did the mist go become so polite? Tui, do you like kids? No, quite noisy. Are you feeling better today? Don't worry, I won't die. Do you take the medicines? So you were involved? What? Nothing. I push you out for some sunshine. I don't need it. Can we just have a calm conversation? What else can we talk about besides divorce? Do you like me? I don't like you. Have you ever loved me? Gu Tingcheng, I don't have the time now and I don't want to talk to you or reminisce about the past. I just want to be alone. Can you stop shaking in front of my eyes? I hate you enough already. Do I say something wrong? If you're aboard, you can go to Su Xiaoyue. Remember to take the medicine. Get out. Don't be afraid, baby. At least you have mom to love you. Aunt Xiang, call the driver for me. I have something for him. Yes, madam. 
Hello, Miss Su. Han Chunyun was looking for the driver just now. Did she say anything? No, she didn't. Then talk to Master Chun. Okay. Hello, Mr. Gu. What are you doing here? Madam says she needs the car the day after tomorrow. She needs a car. Where is she going? She didn't say exactly. She just says she's going to the cemetery. We have to leave at five o'clock. Oh, I see. You don't have to do the day after tomorrow. I arrange for someone else. Okay, Mr. Gu. I get back to work then. An Chunyun, when the time comes, you can't tell who's going to visit whose grave. Why did you ask me here? To do something that's good for you and me, of course. You're a mistress to someone else. We have nothing to talk about. Then why do you come to disappointment? We have a common enemy. As an old saying goes, enemy of my enemy is my friend. I can't understand what you're saying. A wise man does not speak in secret. I hate Han Chunyun. I want her to die. She's my sister. Don't pretend with me here. I've never seen you. Treat her like a sister, Han Muqin. You hate her. I do hate her. It's because of her that I lost my family. But you want me to kill her? I can't do it. She's the reason your mother was in a car accident. It's also because she fought with Gu Tingchen. That's how your father got involved. It's also because of her. That's enough! Stop! Tomorrow is the anniversary of your mother's death. What else do you know? I can tell you. Tomorrow, Han Chunyun will go to the cemetery. What right does she have to go? Do you think your mother will rest in peace after being worshipped by her mother? <laughs> I have a plan. This plan won't get anyone here, and it can also teach her a lesson. Most importantly, you can let her go to the cemetery to worship, and she's not gonna go after you because you are her brother. Be specific. Let's hear it. Tomorrow morning at five o'clock, she will take the car from the Gu family. I will put a small locator in the car. I will track her location with you in real time. At that time, when the time comes, you just. Gu Tingchen, what are you doing in the morning? Are you going out? None of your business. How can I rest assured when you're like this? Don't be pretentious. My legs, isn't it because of you? I'll take you to the cemetery. No, I call the driver. The driver's on leave. It's just me today. Then I will call a taxi with my phone. I told the doorman as well. No outside vehicles will be allowed in the villa today. Gu Tingchen, what the hell are you going to do? I said I'll send you. Tingchen. My stomach hurts. Can you take me to the hospital? Get out of the way. I'm not available. Gu Tingchen, there are a lot of things that I don't need anymore. I put a convenient wheelchair here. Gu Tingchen, I really don't understand you. Are you okay? If I hadn't been so naughty and playful, she wouldn't have died. And they were right. I got her killed. We could have had a happy family. It's all because of me. Watch out! We heard a car accident on the road. So, you're awake. I will get the doctor. You lie down first. Tell me how true it is. Just lie down first. I will tell you.
You lie down first. I had a discar accident. She is bleeding out from a miscarriage. <sighs> She's already in a serious health condition. Now she's in the middle of a resuscitation. Besides, she has a special blood type. There is no such type of blood left in the blood bank of the hospital. Your dad is over there looking after her. Don't worry, we will do everything we can to rescue her. Mom, find someone right away to supervise Han Ching. Okay, don't worry. Where's my phone? Why do you need your phone at this time? Here you go. Wu Tingchen. So yeah, I want you to give Han Chuying a blood transfusion. Tingchen, what are you talking about? Are you okay? I heard you were in a car accident. What hospital are you in now? Renai Private Hospital in the suburbs. I'm in the suburbs, Renai Private Hospital. So yeah, I've never asked you for anything in my life. As long as you promise me, I'll make you a promise. What do you think? Did she say yes? Lie down, lie down. You lie down for a while. I'm going to talk to your dad and get the doctor to check on you again later. What did the doctor say? She needs to stay in the ICU for 48 hours. If I can't wake up during this time, it is possible for her to become a vegetable. How so? What's even more troubling now? Is that she's been found to have a cancer or strength before. We need to be ready for this. What? The mom hasn't closed her eyes all night. I'll take a look. Andrea, don't you want a divorce? As long as you can wake up, I promise you everything. 